Welcome to this presentation on renumbering rooms in Revit with the ID8 Apps Renumber Tool. My name is Katrina Vea Rodriguez of ID8 Software. Design changes are inevitable throughout the life of a project, and because of this, rooms, doors, and other building elements may get added or deleted in the process. In turn, we go through a cycle of renumbering these categories of elements, which sometimes continues up to project completion. This equates to too much time spent renumbering when we could be focusing on other tasks at hand. With the ID8 Apps Renumber tool, we can now more efficiently renumber elements in our projects. Let's take a closer look at how this tool can help streamline our design and documentation process. In this demonstration, we're going to renumber all of the rooms in this sample project. In this view, we can see that all rooms and room tags have already been placed. However, in taking a closer look, we can also see that the numbering may not necessarily be in the sequence that we want it in. These red dash lines are detail lines which represent the sequence or path in which we're going to number the rooms. The goal is to start at this vestibule and number in the clockwise direction. The ID8 Apps Renumber tool can be found along with other ID8 Apps tools and ID8 Software tools in their own ID8 Software ribbon on the Revit user interface. I'll go ahead and select the ID8 Renumber tool which opens up this dialog box right here. In this dialog box, we first need to look at the rule that we're going to apply for this task. I'll first select the Manage button at the top, which gives us two options, Manage Rules and Manage Options. Manage Options assigns the path to the location from which the Revit project will import rules. It also assigns the line style to be used when creating detailed line paths in our model view. Manage Rules allows us to use a predefined rule from this list, create a new rule, duplicate an existing rule and use it as a starting point, edit a rule, and delete rules as well. We can also export and import rules for use in multiple projects. Let's first take a look at the predefined rooms rule by selecting it from the list and then selecting Edit. Here we can see that the rooms rule is reading the number parameter of a room and that the room number will have a prefix of 1 to represent the level that it's on, and 3 digits after that. Let's say that we only want 2 digits after the prefix. If we don't want to modify this rule, we'll need to first create a new rule. So let's cancel out of this dialog box, select the rooms rule again, and then select duplicate. Now we can rename this new rule, and then take a look at the settings in this dialog. For target parameter, we'll leave this at number. For ignore parameter, we'll leave this at none. And then we also want to take a look at the value definition section. We'll leave the level prefix at a constant of one, but we'll want to change the number field by double clicking on it. We said we wanted our room numbers to be three digits total, including the prefix. So we'll change the starting value to two digits and then hit okay. Please note that we can also add other constants and fields to this rule if our project has specific naming standards that we need to follow. Also, down below is a sample preview of what our room numbers are going to look like. If it is OK, we'll go ahead and hit OK all the way out. Now back in our renumbering dialog, we have some other options that we need to look at. When it comes to numbering, we can choose from a number of different methods. The first one is by selecting elements in the order that we want them numbered in. We can also create a path in our view using detail lines and number based on either the path that the lines are crossing or the vertices of the lines. For additional information on how to go about using the different methods, please check out the help files on the ID8 software website, which can also be accessed through the help menu of the tool. Now, since we already have our detail line path, the vertices located at rooms, what we'll do is select the path method by vertex. Then we'll select Start Numbering at the bottom, which will then prompt us to select a line, any line along the path that we want to use to number. I'll go ahead and select one of the detail lines that we already have drawn. After selecting a line along the path, a preview dialog appears, which gives us information on the rooms being numbered. It tells us the element ID of the room, the room name, the original value, which is the current value, and the new value, which is the rule that we applied, which assigns a prefix of one and two digits after the prefix. Please note that there is also the option to reverse the numbering if needed by selecting the button at the top. 
but by default, the numbering goes from left to right or in the clockwise direction. Now that we've renumbered the rooms, we can select Accept Changes at the bottom, and we are done for the time being. However, if we were to go through a number of design changes throughout the project, and rooms are perhaps deleted and or added to our design throughout the design and documentation process, we can now simply adjust the path of the same detail lines used previously, and then use the Renumber tool again to renumber the rooms in our project. I'll go ahead and close out of this dialog box. In the middle of this building is a concessionary area. Let's say at some point during the design process, the layout of this concessionary area changed. I'll go ahead and switch over to the modified layout. And you'll see here that some rooms have now been deleted and added to this area of the building, and a renumbering of rooms in the project is required. In the view, the path of the detail lines has already been adjusted so that there are vertices at all of the new rooms. Now we can go back up to the ID8 software ribbon, to the ID8 apps panel, and select the ID8 renumber tool. We're going to use the same rule that we used previously, which is the rooms-modified. And then we're going to select the method that is path by vertex. Now we can hit start numbering and select any detail line along the path. Once again, we see the preview. We can go ahead and review this preview and if everything is good, we'll accept changes. Close out of the tool. And now we can see that the rooms in our revised plan have been renumbered according to the adjusted detail line path. The ID8 apps renumber tool not only makes for faster renumbering of rooms as we just saw in the sample project, the tool can also be used for renumbering other categories in Revit as well, such as doors, spaces, areas, lighting, furniture, parking, just to name a few. ID8 is an authorized Autodesk developer with over 25 years of experience. For more information on ID8 apps, visit us at id8software.com forward slash ID8 apps. Thank you and have a great day.